Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is my iPhone XS Max, and I wanted to see how fast it would actually charge using the most expensive and most powerful chargers that Apple offers. This currently has 7% battery life, and you'll see it's 11.51 p.m. Now this is the 87 watt power adapter that comes in at $79. Now I got this with my 15 inch MacBook Pro, so we've got this, and this is USB-C, to lightning via this cable which is twenty dollars or nineteen dollars so what i'll do is plug this into this and then we'll plug it into the phone and see how fast it charges in 15 minutes 30 minutes and then an hour and then how long it takes to get to a full charge so let me plug this in now we'll plug this in here we'll see it is 11:51. i'll set a timer for 15 minutes There we go. So we'll plug it in and we'll see how fast it charges. And like I said, we're at 7% right now. So we'll see where we're at in 15 minutes. It's been just about 15 minutes. You'll see we're at one second there. I'll cancel it and start it again. And you'll see we're at 33% in 15 minutes. So we went from 7% to 33%. That's pretty good, 26%. So we'll let it charge for another 15 minutes. And one thing to note is this this charge brick will only charge at a certain rate that the iPhone allows. So it will only allow it to pull current at a certain amount or wattage so you're not going to use that full 87 watts of power but it is the fastest way to charge it so let's check back in 15 minutes and then we'll see where we're at it's been almost 30 minutes in five seconds so it's been charging pretty quickly it seems and the back is pretty warm let me set this for 30 minutes so that'll be the next when I start and look at, but we are at 58%. So 7% to 58% in 30 minutes. So that's about right. 51% or so, or 52% now in 30 minutes is what Apple says it will charge in. So that's about right. Now, one thing to know is when we hit 80%, it will actually slow down the charging to preserve the battery over time. And we'll see how that goes and then when it hits a hundred percent it cuts the power and just kind of trickle charges at that point it's all done in software within the phone so let's come back in 30 minutes and see how it goes and see what we're at in an hour total we've been charging for just about an hour and we are at 78 percent so we've charged 71 percent in one hour so like i said it starts to slow down once you get to 80 percent and this may take a while in order to continue charging all the way to 100 percent so what i'll do is i'll just start a stopwatch here and see how much longer it takes and it could take another hour it could take 30 minutes so we'll see where we're at and when we're charged we'll come back and see how long it took as you can see we're 1 46 a.m and it's charged 100 percent finally so it stopped charging at about one hour and 54 minutes for a full charge off of this large power brick the largest you can get that will fast charge this now I wouldn't say it's worth getting this. I would just get an iPad charger at this point based off this speed and 12 watts usually charges it in a couple hours anyway. I'd like to see them include the 12 watt iPad charger in the box. I think this would be fine. I've been charging using these since the first iPhone and they do a good job. And normally I just put this on a wireless charger all night to charge. I'm good to go in the morning. But let me know which charger you're using in the comments below and which one do you think they should include in the box? That five watt charger is not good enough anymore, I don't think. But let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.